what well, I'm I don't even know why I'm making excuses here it's something I really like to do and I find it very calming and relaxing so that's what I'm doing tonight no World of Warcraft I'm easing my way back into streaming uh, hopefully I'll be streaming tomorrow night which is Friday and I'll get back to World of Warcraft then but for now I'm going to stick with art yep uh, so I have Procreate on my iPad and I have my iPad streaming to my PC. I have no idea how the quality of this is going to be or if it's going to work out or if it's going to be utter shit. So you will just have to bear with me here. You can see um, I've got a couple of pieces that I've done before in the gallery. I um, My iPad's still fairly new. I had another one a couple of months back but when we moved across the country my son of course ended up breaking his iPad so I gave him mine and I foolishly did not save the raw work that I had in Procreate I have like the originals and everything but I don't have the uh, the like step-by-step -step process files so that's why there's only three and uh, yeah, it's just going to be a very chill, very relaxed stream. I'm not uh, going to do, I'm going to talk, but probably not a whole heck of a lot of talking. Um, and that's, uh, that's about it. That's me. So in Procreate, I normally just end up using the default brushes. I don't use anything fancy. I just use the soft brush, medium brush, and the leather wood most of the time. And I use the A4 canvas. It's really nothing fancy. Oh yeah, and if I miss anything in chat, I apologize. Uh, it's not that I'm not paying attention. I'm, I'm probably not paying attention. It's just that I'm not used to looking, like I have the iPad kind of situated in front of the monitor off to the side a little bit. So it might be a little bit difficult for me to see if somebody's talking or trying to get my attention or something like that. So you might have to like, I don't know, wave your arms a few times <laughs> until I see it. <laughs> So right now all I'm doing is uh, setting up like the background colors and the horizon and we're going to make, I don't know, what would Bob Ross say? I guess we're going to make some happy little mountains and hills in the background here. Uh, I don't know, like around here I guess. I 
and bear with me here so it's gonna look like hot garbage <laughs> for the longest time and then as components pull together it starts looking a little bit better and not so much like hot garbage Okay, so why did it do that? Let's go back. We need to fix that. Mm, not previous color, no, no. So let's undo that. Where did my eh, where did my back button go? There we go. Man, why is it doing this? Hmm. I think I have one of my pencil settings on wonky right now on the iPad. So I'm just going to manually scribble all this in and fix it another time. Not quite that big. There we go. I don't like that. <laughs> hey, Jadia. I hope you are having a good... What? It's like 1 a.m. for you, isn't it? It's, uh, it's, it's going okay. It's been a long week. My minions have just gone off to sleep. It's almost 9 o'clock for me. So I think it's like 1 a.m. for you. You should be sleeping. But doing stuff sounds good too. <laughs> uh, why is this all work? This is not working the way I want it to. Hmm. There's a setting somewhere where it's making all my layers act as one layer. Uh, oh, I know you do, hon. I know. I remember your uh your interesting nighttime stories <laughs> let's just you're not the only one i'm i've been much better about my sleep habits but it's only because it doesn't matter what time i go to sleep at i have to be able to get up and function at seven o'clock in the morning because that's when the minions are up like like clockwork <laughs> there so i have to be able to function and i have found over the years if i stay up super late and try to make that happen um 
yeah, it doesn't work very well. So, why is this, mm, is it dynamic brush scaling? Is that what's doing it? I don't understand. Something is wonky about my, um, something is wonky. <laughs> I don't know what is wonky. I, I reset some brushes. That's all I did, I thought. Um, but for some reason, my layers are not acting like my layers are supposed to act. So I'm just going to fiddle around with stuff until I figure out what's making it do that. There's not a whole heck of a lot of options here, so it can't be that much. Um... It's not any of that. Grr. See, even that's not working. I'm on this layer. It's only supposed to have... Oh. Was it because I didn't do a lit? Let's go back and undo this. Yeah, I'm supposed to make a new layer first. And then let's go back to that blue. And let's do our wonky mountains again. Ugh, not like that though. Medium brush. There we go, that's better. Let's do some wonky. Happy little mountains live here. Now, if I bring this in, yeah, okay. So that was my problem the whole time. I didn't realize that I didn't make a layer first. So this program is very simple. It's like $15 on the Apple store, but it is so powerful and I love using it. Except, you know, it's nine o'clock at night and it's been a long week. So everything that I do typically has to be on its own layer. Um, and I'm just gonna go in here and just fudge this little line out of the way and then everything will work beautifully again. I don't know, my mountains are looking more like waves than mountains. There we go. So I started doing digital art instead of traditional because with uh, my multiple sclerosis I can't uh, I can't hold my hands very steady and digital art lets me still maneuver. Oh, stop being waves. There we go. Digital digital art lets me lets me do that stuff. Oh, thank you, bless you. That you think they still look like mountains? They look like waves to me. I'm very picky, though. I know. I mean, I'm not saying you're not picky. I'm just saying, you know, I'm my own worst critic and whatnot. Um, yeah. So at least with digital art, I can flub my way through when my hands are really wobbly, and it's it's nice that there's programs like this where you know I don't have to have a monthly subscription like Adobe Photoshop I'm looking at you and I don't need to have a super powerful computer or anything like that I don't need to worry about doing renders or anything um, so yeah Okay, so I'm gonna turn this to alpha. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Too high up for waves. Um, I guess it could be topsy turvy land though. Could be designing the whole thing upside down. They used to make us do that project in school where you turn the paper upside down and you draw it upside down so that you're looking at it uh, a different, like from a different, you're not looking at it as like, oh, that's an ocean in the sky. Instead, you're just looking at it like there's some lines. 
I haven't done that in a really long time. Usually the end result is whatever you end up drawing is way better than what you would normally end up drawing because you're you're thinking about it in lines and dashes and dots instead of thinking of it as, oh, I need to draw an apple. And it's easier on your brain. Right now all I'm doing is making these mountains, like giving them a little bit of texture so that it's lighter down at the bottom and darker down at the top. And I know it doesn't seem like a lot right now, but as you add up these different little textures and tidbits that you do to them, it gives it depth and it just makes the overall product look much better. But as you're doing it step by step, you're looking at it like, what? <laughs> but it does, it does it does start to pull together slowly over time. I don't think I have a gap this time that I have to take care of. Nope. Yay. No, I'm just layering more textures on, but I hear the minions when wandering around upstairs. <laughs> so I might have to AFK in a minute. They're supposed to be sleeping, um, but I know they're... My six-year-old, he usually has his iPad with him. Uh, he usually always has his iPad with him because it's it helps him with his sensory stuff and lets him feel safe and comfortable and everything. We don't have an issue with that. He's really good about it and he taught himself to read and everything. Uh, so he's been playing Minecraft. <laughs> but I think it's actually the four-year-old who's tiptoeing around up there that I can hear. They visit each other, it's cute. <laughs> so they, uh, they visit each other and talk a little bit. And yeah, obviously I like my pen is, the way I do this art is taps and dashes and dots and and so I'm tapping against the glass of the iPad with my Apple Pencil and it's very loud. Mm. 
What brush am I on? Medium is what I want. I'm glad it's relaxing. I was debating whether or not I wanted to do an art stream or if I wanted to do like I normally stream World of Warcraft. Um, and I love, I'm, I'm having a blast playing it, but I'm just not in that mood right now. And I haven't been able to stream because my anxiety has just been whew, like through the roof. It's just been really bad, but I, I love streaming. So I'm always conflicted like between I want to stream, but I don't want to stream. And I want to stream, but I don't want to stream. And I usually am able to make up some excuse on why I don't end up streaming, even though I really enjoy it a lot. So I thought, oh, you know what, bugger it. I'm going to stream, and I'm just going to draw, and I'm just going to do what I want to do, and, and, and that's it. <laughs> so here I am. <laughs> Exactly. That's the thing too. I don't have a lot to give at the end of the day. I, I don't have a lot of energy. I'm really tired and trying to fit in when I can stream. I, I just, you know, yeah, exactly. You have to perform for an audience basically and it's so draining and tiring and it uses up spoons. Do you have any spoons to spare for that? Are you going to have to do something at the end where you're going to require spoons, you know, like it, it's something's got to give, you can't do it all. So uh, yeah, I totally understand. Exactly. That's my frame of mind. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> ah, making me blush. <laughs> One of these days, I've got a cam too, but that's like a whole other can of worms. <laughs> I have not been able to to get to that level yet, but one day, one day. These are going to be the most subtle clouds anybody has ever seen in their entire life, but I know they're there. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's awesome. Wow, good for you. That's a big step. I tried to get into D&D &D with uh, like Scopeek in them a couple years ago, and even that at the time was just too much for me. I just couldn't. It is a goal, though. Eventually, I'd love to. Me and me and uh, my husband, we play D and D just the two of us, because <laughs> we don't know anybody here, and his schedule is so sporadic. So, we end up doing like homebrew campaigns just the two of us. We have a we have a Discord channel and everything just for us. Of course it's draining, yeah. I mean, I think creative endeavors, as relaxing as we find them, um, like it's still, as relaxing as we find them, man, they're a lot of work.
Absolutely necessary. I agree. Oh, so does mine. Absolutely. I have to do something, especially in like the more stressed I am. I can't just clean my house all the time, <laughs> which is my go to when I'm stressed. I can't just do that all the time. So whether it's knitting or cross stitching, reading, writing, like there's a thousand things I can choose from, which is a whole other, you know, ball, a, a whole other issue having too many choices of creative things to, to pick from. <laughs> Thank you. I don't like the red. Let's get rid of the red and keep it yellow. Hmm.
I need to figure out if there's a way where I can get the cursor to show up on the iPad so that when I'm working on something itty bitty and tiny, like right now I'm working on the mountains in the very back and um, so that people can see at least the general area of where I am because it's so tiny and detailed. I don't know if anybody but me can even see it. I'm doing like dots and swirls and taps trying to make it look like little trees and bushes and shrubs and stuff in the hills in the back, little clouds or whatever. Little happy things living in these mountains, just having their best life. More happy little trees. Hey Barbara, how are you? Are you finally free from work? Or are you are you sneaking off and watching streams while you're working? I'm just doing happy little trees right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, you're free. That's good. That's good. Tomorrow's Friday, so is that your is that the last day or do you have next week too where it's super crazy busy? I I know you've already told me and I have already forgotten because it has been that sort of week. <laughs> Thank you. 
I need to turn down my brush size. Undo as much. There we go. That's better. Just trying to make these hills not look so um, straight and cut just by adding little little taps and dabs and smudges and trees and bushes and stuff living here and there. Even though they're just smudges and taps when you zoom out, <clears throat> it looks like uh, like little plants and stuff living off in the distance. Oh, that's good. I'm glad you get a break after. That's yeah, it's definitely been, <clears throat> excuse me, I have to cough for a second. I don't want to cough in your guys' faces, so I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. Yeah, it's been, uh, it, I was just saying, it's been a week. It's been a week, for sure. Between the heat earlier in the week, was it only, it was like just last week, it was 42 here. Um, between the heat and the kids and people's work and all the rest, it's just been a crazy one, right? I don't know if I'm liking that. I think I need more, more dots and dabs along this one. It looks too weird with the flat and the bumpy. looking better. Let's zoom back. Yeah, that's looking better. We'll just do the rest of this little mountain range here. Just some little dots and dabs and peaks and happy little trees and bushes living here. Giving shelter to all those animals. <laughs> I am channeling my inner Bob Ross. There we go. All right, that's looking okay. I'm not. It's not. It's not horrifying me right now. So instead of doing all the happy little trees and stuff on the very far away mountain, because you wouldn't technically be able to see it, so I just blurred it a little bit so it looks like it's off in the distance a little further instead of uh, having, because I'd have to put my pen down to like negative one and nobody would be able to see that anyway. Pink and flowers, and bring in some bands of land further to the viewer, like closer to the viewer. You'll have to, uh, you'll have to bear with me with my descriptions here. I have never, ever, ever streamed art before, live for anybody, uh, not since I've been in school, anyways. <laughs> so I don't have all the technical terms and uh, fancy doodads and whatnot. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking some purple flowers in the foreground of this one. So I'm just trying to decide as I fiddle with it with these bands of of land and whatnot. 
<laughs> oh yeah. I either I I usually end up like losing my train of thought or I'll have it all planned out. Great, amazing descriptions. I will just go into so much detail that by the end of it, folks are like what? Because <laughs> I have totally not made my point. It's just gone way too far over the other side. <laughs> and then I end up calling things doohickeys and doodads and whatchamacallits and, you know, this thingy over here with the with the thing. And they did the, the doothicky. The doothicky. Yeah. And then I do that. <laughs> what my mouth says and my brain wants to say are two completely different things. Oof, that is very strong. Let's turn that down a little bit. My hands are, are uh, hitting that too hard. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, by all means, you can use the, the Stephanie-isms, the star isms to your heart's content, if ever there was a person who wanted to. <laughs> uh. Let's let's make this look a little misty. Like a little bit of the land is off in the distance. Might have to turn this sideways. There we go. That's better. That's better. All right. I'm liking that. So I'm using a textured brush now. It's pretty much the only textured brush I use in this uh, in Procreate. You can download like a million of them, different stamps and brushes and stuff. This is called Leatherwood, but I don't know what that means. Uh, it kind of looks like, I mean, it, it looks like broken up. I don't know. <laughs> it looks like shapes. <laughs> I don't, so. We're gonna have some hefty tapping going on here because it's gonna go all the way across. All right, I gotta see why my minions are still awake. Okay, so pardon me for just a moment. I will be right back, but they're thumping around up there and I'm getting concerned because it's 9.30, so. Oops, I hit my, I turned off my microphone early. I'll be right back.
Okay, I am back. They are, uh, yep, still awake. <laughs> now I'm out of breath. They're up like two floors. Not two floors, like one floor, but our house is four different floors. <gasps> so stairs running is a thing. Anyway, yeah, they're still up. Wonderful. So hopefully that will end soon. <laughs> You can't force kids to sleep even though you would like them to. They basically just fall asleep when they want anyway. They just lay there or play with their toys in their room, <clears throat> etc. Alright, so we're fuzzing in some shrubs and plants and shapes. Is looking okay for what I have in mind. I'm not gonna make it super detailed on the other side. <laughs> yeah, exactly. My my kids would stay up and do that tear if if I wasn't, you know, mean mommy. <laughs> I mean, one's four and one's six. It's nine thirty at night. They should be asleep. Because I know it's not like they're going to sleep in tomorrow morning. Whoops, that was too high up. Too high up. There we go. <laughs> Lie in bed with your eyes wide open. Yeah, I think we all still do that, don't we? <laughs> I'm just going to color this in. <laughs> oh goodness yeah closing your eyes helps that's what I have heard last night so my husband's working nights and our property backs out into the woods which is wonderful during the daytime but at nighttime it's terrifying I have the windows open and I hear like something falling out of a tree or running through the woods or something and I pop up out of bed and my eyes are open but it's pitch dark and I'm looking out the window there's no lights back there or anything like that trying to catch a glimpse of whatever was out there which in retrospect was probably not the smartest idea if there's a bear or something out there I probably don't want to be doing any of that um but yeah so I'm I'm probably not gonna sleep tonight is what I figure <laughs> until my husband's back home and can confirm that there is nothing evil coming out of the woods to get me in our bedroom window on the second floor. <laughs> I'm just creating some depth here by adding the black dark color to the front of it. Whoops, didn't mean to whatever I did there.
I know these look weird right now, but bear with me. <laughs> Trust the process. I looked up to make sure I wasn't missing any conversation and I see Moobot and I thought it was one of you guys and I was like, wait, what? Completely forgot I even had that set up.
<laughs> yeah, they're coming along. Lots of dabs and dashes and dots. That's why I like doing the art like this. It doesn't require me to have a steady hand or to even put things in like a specific place. It's very um, just uh, whatever you want to do, wherever you feel. I know that sounds super corny, right? Like wherever you feel the flower, put a flower. <laughs> but that, that's how it is. You don't have to worry so much about the uh, like the technicalities of it or anything like that and you just uh, dot and dash and dab your way across the canvas and eventually after doing it and uh, <laughs> after doing many layers upon layers upon layers uh, you end up with a picture <laughs> it's, it's kind of awesome Yeah, I'm going to have to put more do thickies. <laughs> I do need more do thickies. You're right. I think a little do thicky lives right here. Some do thickies right here. Do thicky. Oh, yeah. We're getting right into it now. Trying to make it a little more vibrant at the in the foreground. Hmm. Time to smush too. We have, I think my iPad can handle twenty three layers or something like that before it starts complaining to me. So I'm gonna smush all the flower layers together. Nope. There we go.
<clears throat> I need to rotate the canvas. Sorry, guys. I need to go sideways here. See, this is where I end up having to undo and redo my lines a billion times. And normally, I mean, not normally. Normally, people's hands are not as jittery as mine. And when you're doing a single straight line, it's not a big deal. You can also, in Procreate, just hold down the line. Like if I were to draw like this, I can hold it and it will snap and it will become straight. But I want these um, like tapered or whatever, like wider at one side and narrow at the other side. So I'm, I'm drawing them by hand, obviously, <laughs> um, and trying to, yeah, stuff and words, stuff and words. Yeah. Come on, piece, rotate back. There we go. Oh, I've used my fingers to draw things unintentionally. There we go. Okay. These are just lines to work with. They're not staying like this. We're going to blur them in and make them less uh, obnoxious in the future. Why is that one doing something wonky? Hmm. Come on, extend from the sky, from the sun, dude. You can do it, extend. There we go, that's better. <laughs> I'm like, tilt instead of tilting the canvas, because I'm still not um, used to doing that, I'm like looking at it upside down. <laughs> there we go, that's better. That's more what I had hoped for. Yeah. All right. All right, now we're going to adjust that and fix it. What? Oh, it's because I'm still there. I was like, oh no, where'd my taskbar thingy go? That lets me control the size. I lost it. Come on, little sun, you can do it. Beam those lights the way I see them in my head and not the way I see them with the pencil. Seriously, it's like there's a lip on the mountain here and the beam of sunlight doesn't wanna work its way over it the way I want. Must be a layer issue somewhere. All right, well, let's do some red. I 
I'm swooshing the iPad all over the desk as I do this. <laughs> uh, let's do that, okay. All right. Let's... There we go. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Sun says now. Oh well, I shall bend you and manipulate you to my will, Mr. Sunshine. I hold the pencil. I think. Sometimes when I'm drawing, I end up holding my breath. <laughs> I don't know if other people do that, but I'll be working on, like I'm doing the sunbeams right now. I'm on the third one from the left and I just like take a deep breath and, and until I get it looking the way I want and then I'll just go. <sighs> it's really weird. It's not a stressful situation or anything. I'm not stressed. I'm just, it, I don't know. I'm not sure why. And then I have to remind myself to breathe. <laughs> take a breath, Stephanie. <laughs> Pardon me. There we go. Got some more color in there. You on the end, you need some color. There we go. That's looking better. I think I'm going to add some red to the sky too. I want more red in there. It's, it's coming along. It's, it's working out. <laughs> exactly, I need breathing reminders. <laughs> you know, the only the foundation of human life, well, not even human life, everything life. I mean, you, you, breathing is a pretty important thing. <sighs> All right, let's go back to the orange. I feel like it's too red now. I'll add a little bit more orange, orange. There we go, that's better. Just undo some of that. adding in some extra orange and some extra red to the sky. And then just just giving the mountains a little bit the glow.
Why isn't there we go? Steel eraser. Switch over. Why are you not erasing? What do I have over top of you? Oh. Am I on the wrong mountain? No, I'm on the right mountain. Oh, because that's the smudge tool, not the eraser tool. Ah, yeah, that would be why. I'm trying to erase something with the smudge tool. It doesn't work very well, in case you were curious. Okay, now I'm on the race and it doesn't want to race either. Why are you not erasing? I'm on the eraser. Do I need to be bigger? No. Hmm. <laughs> First I'm on the wrong brush, then I'm on the wrong mountain. Ah, I'm on the right mountain now. <laughs> this is why I don't stream after 10 o'clock. <laughs> ah, okay, let's, let's turn it down back to the regular size. Here, we're trying to, I'm trying to fade the mountain around the sun because the mountain shouldn't be so, you know? Like the, the sun would be. So we're just gonna chip away a little bit at the sides of the mountain here to show that like the sun is is bright, basically. <laughs> just chipping away at a little bit of it. There, that's better. <laughs> oh goodness. Just blurring things a little bit. I think it's almost done. I don't know. It'll tell me when it's done. I think it's looking okay. Thank you both for the compliments. I appreciate that. That's my children thumping around up there. Otherwise, I have a visitor. She says that she looks suspiciously behind her. Oh. I have my headset over one ear, so I, I can't hear as well as I normally would be able to. that one. 
one. Let's do that over again. Smaller size. Get it further away. That's better. You don't go there because the sunshine is here. You stay here where the sunshine is. You live right here. I think this is just about the way I want it. Yeah, I think that's all right. That's looking okay. You didn't realize I'm... Hey, nice to see you, by the way. <laughs> um, a stone throw from what border? Canada's kind of like a big place. <laughs> um, yeah, so where were you? And uh, was it for like work or what? Also, it's nice to see you. <laughs> Let's turn down the opacity. I want the sky a little bit darker. So I'm just very, I mean, I don't want the sky darker. I want the, the part away from the sun. I have, oh, you're, is that the same as Sault Ste. Marie? Like Sault Ste. Marie is the Canadian side. I don't know if the, if, if you call it the same thing on the American side. I don't know where Michigan is. Okay, so yeah, I drove through there when we moved uh, across the country. So we were living in the very far north um, and we drove here. Now we live on the East Coast. I'm in Nova Scotia now. And we went We went to Sault Ste. Marie. It was beautiful. We stayed at a really gorgeous place. It was one of the better places 